Yeah, those are swaths, Buckling. Uh, nationalistic. Uh, you know, we're talking Sir Francis Drake, huh? He tried to take on Marl, but it didn't work out. Uh, thieves. Pirates. Thieves. Oh, yeah. Straight up. Stealing from other thieves. Well, that way nobody felt guilty. Uh, you know, slug the rum, fire the cannon. Oh, uh, yeah, skull and crossbones, huh? Mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, with a black eye shadow. Like a raccoon horror. And Johnny Depp, huh? He personally attacked colonial ships and a few chicks in a makeup room. Ah! Uh, if he could cut one away from the main fleet, boom, boom. <laughs> well, yeah, and uh, they plundered the pirates and they hit the loot in treasure chests, in sea caves, all over the Caribbean. Uh, I mean, there's you know, 50, 60 inhabited Caribbean islands. There's thousands of just miniature islands, you know, nobody there, huh? Sea caves, huh? They're still there. Some of the loot still gets found to this day. And uh, you had Bluebeard mm -hmm. and Blackbeard. They based themselves in St. Thomas. Yeah, they built fortified castles for themselves. They were so badass, uh, they just lay out in the oven. Yeah, this is my castle. Oh, what's on my front porch? A cannon battery. And they build them on elevated hills overlooking the harbor. Anybody coming their way? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, and the crumbling remnants of the castle. You still see them. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, the jungle's taking them over, but the smothered, yeah, foliage, yeah. Well, the Danes moved in with all their Danish furniture. Sixteen seventy one. Well, and uh look here. In these times, the Caribbean was just like an out-of-control chess game between the colonial powers of Europe. French, English, Vikings. Um, yeah, and... Um, and then the pirates simultaneously plundering everybody, just, you know, uh, unfortunate enough to cross their wake. Bluebeard. Blackbeard. And their guru. Long John Silver bird? They made use of the sprawling black market in St. Thomas. It was like the, you got something to launder? You got some plunder to flog off to other thieves? Uh, even selling previously owned ships. And uh, previously screwed slaves. Uh, there's a great deal on a uh, crooked, previously drowned rudder. Ropes, hemp ropes. Well, look at it. Okay. What a merry-go-round. I mean, these islands changed in. At St. Thomas, it was, it was Dodge. It was Danish. It was Pirate. It was Dutch again. It was, you know, multiple times. 
Huh. Well, finally, the Danish, you know, once they got their hands on it, they kept it until, you know, America's like, you know, I'm tired of this goddamn merry-go-round of nations in my own backyard, and I'm young and I'm powerful, huh? I took Elmore uh, in uh, 1918, huh? Well, they did what they do best. Oh, they brought a, they brought a chest to the king of Denmark in Copenhagen. They opened the chest. What's inside? Twenty five million dollars. Well, the king, huh? Well, yeah, you know, and his mistress. Twenty five million for Saint Thomas. And St. John, Americans, huh? Hard bargainers, huh? You want two for the price of 25 million? I'll throw in St. Croix, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, the deal went down, huh? And that's the way the situation has stayed right to this day. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, back to the hippie haven, okay? Um, built. In 1807, by the Danes. So look at everything before 1917, when the Yanks it. It's all Danish architecture and furniture. Well, so the mansion is Danish colonial. I mean, even the prison is Danish. So why do they serve croissants f for breakfast? Well, the French had it for a few months, so they left that behind. And the, the hippie haven. The hippie haven. <laughs> In the heart of Charlotte Amelie, which is a gorgeous village. It's a picture postcard. Yeah, Caribbean. Yeah, you could paint that, huh? If you had any talent. Um, yeah, I mean, it's right. You can walk from the bay. It's not even a minute. And, uh, yeah, it's a ramshackle, but, you know, huge mansion ruled by an eccentric doctor, retired Danish doctor, mm -hmm. van der Viking. Why he adores hippies so much? Ah, uh, nobody's quite sure. He's kind of like a an old widow who can't resist rescuing every stray cat in the neighborhood. Huh? She's got seventeen cats inside her house. Huh? Oh, jeez, uh, that sofa. Mm -hmm. What? It's windy here in the rainforest. I don't need this anymore. Okay? You know, just. My cat's went up to that, huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, he loves hippies and uh, runaways. He's got a soft spot in his heart for street people. And his doors, the doctor, he flung them wide open. Well, I don't need to go all the way. And, uh, yeah, come on in. Anybody in the Caribbean. No questions asked, you know. You got a warrant out for your arrest? <laughs> well, good for you. You got away with it. Well, it's 160 years old. Wooden, three-story palace. Well, solid stone foundation. Uh, ochre tile roof, Danish tiles. Mm -hmm. uh, supported. Uh, the beams are all old-growth mahogany. Mm -hmm. Got about 20 rooms of vaulted ceilings. And uh, coming down from the ceilings are these 1880s uh, 
Danish fans, you know, hardwood, polished blades. Uh, and they're rotating, creaking, extremely so, so slowly, yeah, but... Uh, oh, antique uh, 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 glass showcases filled with dusty, uh, rare, by this time, huh? Uh, seashells, sea or watch out for the blowfish. <laughs> oh, they didn't touch them. I was spiky, huh? Yeah, souvenirs from centuries past. Oh, what's up in the attic? Oh, an old steamer chunk. Oh, overflowing with faded National Geographics. Yeah. Oh, Alexander Graham Bell, huh? He's on the cover there. Uh, mm hmm. And with the second story, you come down from the attic into the second story, and uh, it has a truly nasty view. Mm. Uh, you got to remember, these are cobblestone streets. They use the cobblestones for ballast too, just like the Puerto Ricanians. So they, they made their streets out of them. But they're narrow. The streets are like eight feet across. Kind of two lanes. Uh, yeah, and you look straight across from the second story, Hippie Haven balcony, right into the living room of the most hated man in St. Thomas. Judge Lockham down. Oh, jeez. He, he's a buzz killer. So am I. Mosquitoes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just hippie haven. High court judge. Ooh. And, uh, well, I'm, uh, the whole backyard is, is a compound. 16 foot uh, high walls, 8 feet thick. I mean, incoming cannonballs back in the day, huh? Had the rickshaw reroute themselves to somewhere else. Uh, lives the governor general of all three Virgin Islands. Jesus. So you got to imagine the heavy haven. It's like this oasis of freedom and freaky life surrounded by powerful, straight, extremely uptight, yeah, neighbors. Well, who think God is on their side, kind of thing. Well, the nearsighted, uh, frail doc, I mean, he looks a lot older than 74. He looks like he's 94. Oh, yeah, after he retired, he got into the Rama and it just the wrinkles, yeah. But he's thin. Wrinkled, yeah. Oh. He drinks way too much rum. Then, you know, he, he knows better. And he always catches the Caribbean influenza. Oh, every winter, those winter gales. I mean, it's not all sunny every day in the Caribbean, all right? Rainy winter gets sick, huh? These street kids would get sick if we didn't take them in, huh? So, the dark, huh? He is so way beyond caring at all. Other people's opinions about how he should spend his, yeah, golden years. It's just, oh. Uh, he, he's, he's sipping the Bay Tree rum, huh? After about three shots of that, he just shouts out, judges, governors, damn them all. To hell. Oh, yeah, he feels feisty, yeah. And he not only, he doesn't, simply tolerate the uh, hippie lifestyle. Ooh, he stokes it. He 
fans it. He exhorts his hippie children, do your own thing more. Oh, uh, play that, the Jimi Hendrix, huh? Louder. In the speakers at the high court, yeah, yeah, he's eight feet away, let him, uh, try to sleep on that, huh? Mm. Well, um, yeah, anything. Freedom. You want to shoot heroin? <sniffs> Cocaine? Amphetamine? Good. Um, cigarettes. Marijuana. Hash. I mean, just use your imagination a little bit, huh? Mushrooms. Oh, we, we grow those right here in uh, St. John huh? and St. Thomas, y'all. Uh, free love. Free love. Communal. Do it uh, in the living room on the second floor, free love, in broad daylight. Hmm. So that's what Safa, saxophone, and Tennyson are flying into. Oh, yeah, the goose. They can see Charlotte Amelie Bay right now. Mm -hmm. That pontoon airplane. Is headed straight towards the hippie haven. I sense a party about to. <laughs>